And hello there, everybody. How are you all doing today? Back with more Persona. Gonna have some fun with Megan. She is here. Yes. Uh, might be a bit of a shorter session just because, as you can see by the time up there, it is a little late. It's kind of calling us out. But we want to have a little bit of fun. Uh, and I didn't realize I had your computer <laughs> time in here. That's funny. It does, yeah. So it's going to call us out. But, yeah. So if it's a shorter session, that's why. Because we're already... We don't normally do it this late. Normally we do it a little bit earlier. We um, try to so we can have a decent amount of time to do stuff. Yeah. But we did see that the next part of the trivia is on here. And I did enjoy that. I want to do the playoffs. So I figured we'd that start off with that. So we're going to start off with some trivia. Now to join the investigation team. And on a peaceful day, Teddy summoned you again into the TV. Boo. Yay! Of course, remember what happened last time. Those memorable qualifiers where Sensei won the day after a heated battle. It's very easy. All the emotion and drama is back tonight for another round. Just like last time, I'm your host on the Mark Teddyson. <laughs> now let's get this show on the road with concentration, knowledge, and Teddy's favor. Go for it's the gold! Back. Midnight the line kind of cut into each other. A little bit. It's another show, all right. Not for any viewers, but for us. Uh, Nacho's not here. Yeah, I thought she'd be here. I thought yeah. that was the whole reason why we got it. <laughs> I thought that too. Maybe Nacho will be a part of this somehow. Maybe. ability she's using is her ability to see the obvious. <laughs> Why us again? We could have called Kanji or Naoto. Uh, uh, uh. You know, I wanted to call Rise-chan and Nao-chan, but they turned down my formal invitation. Uh, oh, no. Formal invitation? Wait, does that mean you told them about the quiz oh. Would they have been able to say no? But you didn't tell us. This? There is something seriously wrong with you. Why didn't we get an explanation? Come on, Yosuke. Do I really have to spell it out for you? If you guys didn't come, we wouldn't have any contestants, would we? And in <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> Meaning why? Would be in trouble, wouldn't he? Not my problem. I like the idea that he gave the other party members a choice. Without these guys. <laughs> I know, right? I assume he asked those two first and they said no. And so he's like, okay. Or those three first, I guess. And they said no. And so he's like, okay, well, I'm not going to give these four a choice. I told you once, there's no AD here. Do you really like quiz shows that much? We already went through one round. You protest now, but you had fun too, didn't you? Have you already forgotten how touched you were on that day? Rekindle that passion. Don't turn your back on your youth. When was I touched? You're not making any sense. Though I did have some fun. It was pretty enjoyable. Fine, I'll play along. But this is the last time, all right? You're going to be in the finals. I guess it's better than Teddy throwing a tantrum. All right, let's do this. <laughs> it looks like our contestants are ready. Now then. Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz! Let's begin the playoffs! Yay! Yay! Are you all ready? Let the quiz begin! And of course, Megan will be playing as well. Hit the button in front of you. Yeah. See if we both A correct answer will earn you one point. An incorrect answer will lose you one point. The person with the highest score at the end of the round wins! Okay, so I need to buzz in, right? Yeah. Little things strangers. I don't know uh, that one. Feather condor. Uh, it's Hawk, I guess. Oh, no? oh it's Feather Hawk, yeah. You're right. TV. Damn, nice. Next uh, oh, price oh. sticker. Yes. Or 
No. Oh, what? It's not? It was the 10 Ricky Men stickers. Oh, damn, you're right. Or Kiri Men. Okay, you should know this. What is Wind. it, Megan? Wind? Yeah, that's right. I, I have Izanagi. I should know. Uh, the, two the two voices inside of her XA helped him out. Skills. <laughs> yes, oh. Rebellion. Rebellion. <laughs> See, Megan's got this one. Yes. Here we go with a fifth question. How many fire extinguishers look at? Oh. Oh, I, I don't think, know that one. I think that it's might be. Seven. I think it might be seven. Too bad. Damn. That's I think it's either seven or six. <laughs> There's nine. Okay. I guess there'd be one for every classroom. Uh, Phoenix Rangers? Oh, damn. She's a point on me. Yeah, I can see her being really into <laughs> the Phoenix Rangers because they're basically Power Rangers. Yeah, that is true. It does fit her character a lot. May symbols are shown on the walls of the Void quest. Hold on there. What? Many symbols? Sword? Is, so is it sword? I think it is. Oh damn it! Ran out of time. I realized it's going down that quick. Damn it! I would have had it. Yeah. Just take it, 30 for a movie. 1500. 1500 yen. Damn it, he got it. Oh, I, I hit, see, I hit the button too. It was just like slightly too late. Which one are you doing from defeating the Shadow Reaper? 666? Uh, 13? Is it? I think. Okay, thanks. 13 that is the Japanese number for death. Oh, uh, so. you're right. That would make sense. Does the name of the character Shadow Mitsuo Mitsuru transform into? Oh, Mitsuru the hero. Yeah, you're right. Not bad, partner. And that's the end of the first half. All right, so, her and, so me and Chie are tied. So hmm. you guys are like all tied, except for Yukiko. <laughs> that is true. Uh, is it... Joel Rush, I think. I think you're right. Nah. No. Is it assault? Uh, Swift Strike. Oh, Swift Strike might be medium damage instead. There's the price of the fortune. Resume fortune. Hmm? No one's answering. Ah. Uh, was it? This question is mine. Yeah, I don't know that one. Yeah, it was debating between 200 and 300. 200. Okay. But I'm glad I didn't go for it. You just castle what? I'm just shadow black raven drop. Black Lamp, I, I guess? I was gonna say, I think it's Black Lamp. Not bad, partner. Next question. What weapons makes a different sound? Golf oh. Club? No. Monkey Wrench. Monkey okay, wrench. Monkey Wrench. I think. Nope. Was Damn it! Golf Club? It. Don't worry about golf Club! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, triple, triple point. Okay, I gotta get this one. Fifteen. Oh, the name of oh, it Chagall, is. Oh, um, Shigal, Shigal, Shigal. This one, B. The A one, yeah. Yeah. Wait, the A one. Okay, yeah. He said the A one. I became confused. I was like, A, but isn't that B? What? Well, I didn't want you to get confused with Chagall and Chogall. So. I mean, fair. Emma's in the playground. Uh... Just for As in, he should know. He worked there. He yeah. works there. Doesn't have a picture, John. No, oh, too many Juness questions. Trying to get him to catch up to you. Civil banners to beach. Six? It's four, oh, it apparently. Four. Huh. Okay. That that was the beach though. <laughs> Is it ramen flags or something? I, th I guess I think so. 
It did mention uh, ramen, I'm pretty sure. Let's revoke in a station if you're going left towards the entrance. Is that Chikal? Chikokofer. Uh, Chikokofer, yeah. Uh, towards its entrance. That's the uh, movie theater, I think. Oh, it's the bookstore. Damn. I forgot there was a bookstore there. Oh, the final question. I gotta get uh, it. And Mata Leaf, isn't it? Bead, bead, bead. Oh, bead. Yeah, you're right. Because that one's full. Bad partner. <laughs> that one was tough, dude. <laughs> that, that was, was a little one. bit tough, yeah. The winner is the favorite. It's me, because I have the most. Come on, Teddy, it's easy. I do find it funny how Yukiko didn't like answer any question aside from the one she got wrong. <laughs> yeah. I can't beat you at anything. Still, how did you answer those questions? Yeah, you know, what I really like about this trivia is how in character yeah. it actually is. It is. And how it's very weighted to if a character actually knows it. Yeah, it's nice. thinking man nah, bye Teddyson you managed to win the quiz show but according to Teddy there's still the finals yet to come what challenges await you in the finals you'll have to wait and see I wonder what I get for like going through all of them yeah I don't know I've never gone through all of them so I'm not really sure I'm kind of curious. Do you think it'd be okay if we just had a quick peek to see if they're the same questions or if they mix it up? I feel like they have to mix it up. Yeah, sure. So well, this one's for fun. Oh, yeah, I can skip the cutscene too. Are you all ready? Let the quiz begin. Now, first question. Yeah, certain keys needed to open the treasures. That's a chest key. I've seen those and I like those. I'm building a collection after all. Not bad, partner. So it is different. So you can play through this multiple times if you wanted. Yeah. We can shop and crook him. Oh, I know that amazing. Yeah. Is this commodities? Yeah. It's weird it doesn't have the full name. <laughs> In Japanese, it probably does. Probably. Less, like, less, less characters and stuff. Exhaustion ailment. Oh, here we go. You should know this. Uh, Which item cures it? I want to say royal jelly. Nice. See, this one, this one's going much easier for me. What accessory increases the evasion rate against the fire attacks? That's like cool. Fire beams, suppressor. Right? Oh, fire suppressor, yeah. Increases evasion? Yeah, you're right. right again. You're on a roll. Not bad, partner. <laughs> this next question's a difficult one. Alright, let's see. Alright. Uh, uh, okay, oh. this time it actually did crash. This time it actually did crash. <laughs> okay, oh, well, no. I guess it I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know if I need to do that quiz show again. Actually. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully not. It's still weird how it uh, it crashed that time, though. Like, for real, actually. Yeah. Okay, well, if it doesn't give me the option to skip the cutscene, maybe I'll just do it again just to make sure I've done it. Although that probably okay. won't be on recording. Yeah, I think that's fair. We did it once. <laughs> we did do it once. Um... Yeah, I just say new. So I guess it probably didn't count. Yeah, see, I don't know why it crashed still. It's still really strange. Yeah. Because like, that's the game. That's that. As far as I know, it's not an OBS thing. It's just like the game being weird now for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it, it I don't know. Ported games are strange. Sometimes. Anyway, I guess Megan and I are just going to do this quiz quick. And then uh, now we'll hop into the game. So we will be back shortly after my victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, Megan and I are back. We just did the quiz show and we absolutely smoked them. Yeah. Which is pretty nice. So I think I was going to read the book tonight, right? I believe that was the plan. I think that was the plan, yeah. And try to get my courage up. There's a bag full of clams inside. They seem very fresh. You left that all alone. Oh, okay. I don't. I guess I don't like clams. Um. Tomorrow I feed the cat. I do the, the dude who wanted the fish. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I need to do tonight. There's no like TV show. So once again, it's literally only been like a day, but. You know, sometimes it, uh, there's so much going on in this game. I, I mentioned it before. There's just so much going on in the game that, like, it's easy to forget, like, what you're doing because you're also trying to plan out, or at least I am, with what I should be yeah. doing. So it's like I come back in and I'm like, okay, what was I doing? You know, what was my plan? Yeah. It's a man of history. So do you think this will max my courage out? I'm not sure. I don't really know how close you are to ranking it up. You began reading, Man of History. Every chapter begins, all men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. The amazing Khan learns to accept life and death through the rigorous application of manhood. You feel more like a real man than ever before. Yeah, so I finished it. I'm heroic now, dude. Let's go. Nice. I, I, see, I figured I was really close. I had a feeling I was really close. Well, shoot. Now I only need my understanding and diligence maxed. Yeah. Honestly, you're doing better on your stats than I did on my first playthrough, but I think <laughs> I just didn't read very much. I mean, it's possible. I'm not too sure. Uh, to be honest, I'm really not too sure. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I like it, though. I like that I'm doing good with this. Yeah. Morning, Fregsky Kun. Man, that was exhausting yesterday. Actually, I have a question for you, right? Yeah. Because if I remember correctly, like the anime catch scenes are for Persona, Persona, Persona Golden only, right? Like P4G. Uh, are they? Some of them, yeah. It depends. Like a lot of the ones I think we've seen before are like in the base game. The only stuff I could think of in particular that would be in Golden would be the stuff with the motorcycles, the stuff at the beach, uh, the music show we just did, and then stuff that happens after the base story i don't think there's anything else added from now till then okay so my question is as follows when uh -huh. we do the concert if they didn't have the anime cutscene there before what was there they didn't have the concert at all they didn't no that was like completely brand new so technically in a separate universe where we don't have the concert but my days have been free in the morning to do other stuff because I don't know what I gained I from the so. concert. I think so. They might have had, like, other holidays or something. Or just, like, days we didn't really do much. I don't quite remember. Hmm. But, yeah, there was there was no concert. There was no band. That was all added. I assume it was probably added because they were probably developing Persona 4 Dancing at the time. Uh, baby. Because, uh, little fun fact, all the instruments that they played are actually in Persona 4 Dancing. Oh, really? And Konamine, or Konamine is a character in Persona 4 Dancing as well. Well, that is a pretty fun fact. Yeah. So whenever you get around to playing that, you'll have fun with that, I'm sure. That's true. I do plan on doing those too. Because Megan tells me it's all canonical, which means I should probably do it. Yeah. Although apparently they're canonical after the arena games. I haven't played them, though. So <laughs> I might have to go and play those sometime. Man, that was uh, exhausting yesterday. It was my first time being up on stage like that. Grise had to do stuff like that all the time when she was working, right? I'd never be able to live like that. And this week, we've got midterms. Sigh. Oh, hey, we should have a study session with everybody else after school. We're all in the same boat, right? No, I'm much smarter than all of you. I'm sorry to break it to you. Let's help each other out. I mean, it's technically true. I don't need any help. But, like, I don't want to be mean. So help each other? <laughs> That's right. Help each other. Okay, so what if I'm more on the being helped side than the helping others side? Ah, that's why she came to me. She knows I'm smart. 
Yeah. Come on, help those of us who are academically challenged. I'll invite everyone, please. Hey, history. Now, please take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had these made. Trigsky, would you stand up, please? Okay. Napoleon, you say. What did Napoleon have invented? Uh, uh, that's a little bit of an awkward sentence, but okay. A little bit. Well, he didn't do cans, I'm pretty sure, because cans, I want to say, were World War One. May have been two, but I'm pretty sure we had canned goods in two, so I want to say it's a World War One thing. Brandy, I'm pretty sure it was already... I, it's, it might be glass jars. Because I feel like we had dictionaries. Did we? I don't know about brandy. Like, yeah, specifically. Sure. Because, like, al alcohol was definitely a thing, but I don't know about brandy. I want to say it's glass jars, but that almost seems... Like, we should have had those already. But then again... We would have had glass jars, right? Maybe not. I would think we would, because glass jars have been around forever. I mean, I'm jars sure. have been. But I don't know about glass jars. Well, that's true. Maybe not glass jars. Maybe it is glass jars. Like, what did he need? I'm trying to think if he drank. I don't think he drank. But I don't know why he'd need glass jars. And I don't know why he'd care about dictionaries. I'm gonna say glass jars. I, I'm pretty sure it's not cans. I'm pretty sure it's not brandy. It's between these two. I'm leaning towards glass jars. So, so what do you think it is? I'm probably gonna pick glass jars, but like, I'm curious what, what you would choose. I almost want to say it's brandy just because it's so specific. It is, it is. Well, that's a good point. We probably had, we, we had glass bottles. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is brandy. Because, like, we had glass bottles by this point. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Would we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I will go with Brandy. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I get it anyway. So I'll say Brandy. My second pick will be glass jars. Sorry, but that's incorrect. It was glass jars. Oh. Okay. Okay. See Oh, Megan, you steered me wrong. I didn't mean to. I'm because I think brandy was made like in the 1900s. I want to say. I don't think I don't think brandy would have been a thing around that time. Like we would have had alcohol, but I don't know if we would have had like specific alcohols like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ho ho ho! Sorry, but that's incorrect. Napoleon had glass jars made. Well, at least I can say I, w I could have had it. I don't need the knowledge anyway. But at least I can say I would have had it. Napoleon held a contest with lots of reward money to whoever could come up with a way to preserve food on long, long campaigns. Nicholas Appert submitted his method for canning food in 1804, paving the way for the food preservation industry. It's a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved with the actual invention of metal cans. Then what am I thinking of? I thought metal cans were made in like World War One. Maybe it was the can opener. It might have been the can opener. Because believe it or not, metal can can openers did not exist when metal cans for, were first made. I think they were all like pull ring cans. Uh, I think I think that was the thing. I don't know why we eventually. Maybe it was just easier to have a can opener. I'm not too sure. I would assume we, at least for some things, we probably switched from the pull tabs to like having the can sealed because it helps preserve the food longer. True. True. That doesn't make That'd sense. That would be my guess. The first canned foods were kept in glass jars. Tin or iron cans were invented in 1810 as an alternative to heavier jars. An actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. Maybe I am wrong then. I don't Maybe I'm... Maybe I, maybe I just had a mis... Maybe someone gave me a misconception. I don't know. It Ooh. happens. 
It's very possible that maybe I just learned it somewhere from someone that said it was the fact and that turned out to be wrong. And I've just kept <laughs> it as, as a thing. I don't know. Before the invention of the can opener, soldiers would use bayonets to cut open cans or smash them with rocks. Okay, maybe they weren't pulling then. This is very hmm. inefficient. Yeah. So, midterms start at the end of this week. Don't forget to review. You gave the incorrect answer. Sag. Very, very Sag. Genus Food Court. Man, I want to hang out with the peeps after school. Hi, Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings. Greetings to you. Don't learn from him, Nanako, please. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Oh, Nanako, you got to meet now too. You both, your names both start with N. You'll get along Why perfectly. Did everyone come here. Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. You know, that is kind of a really random thing to just kind of have happen. To be honest, it is like yeah. it is very anime. It is very anime side arc. You know. <laughs> Which is like, yo, yeah. you're you have concert in like three days. Suddenly you become really good at an instrument that's been assigned to you, and you manage to pull off a concert flawlessly. And then in front you just, of a live audience. In front of a live audience, and then you just go back to school the next day to study. Right? It's very anime, and it's very weird and random. But I like it. You know. It's probably why they added it, to be honest, because they wanted it to be more happy, go lucky anime vibe. Maybe, maybe. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh, so jumping straight into math? My worst enemy. Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, of course, Naoto would know. Naoto's like the nerd. That's what we need her. Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Yo, gay. I mean, that's actually really mean. Yeah, jeez. Don't call me useless. Yeah, he beat him up. He kind of deserves it, to be honest. I think I figured out what buttons to push to get now to cool riled up. No, he was just kind of messing with her, I guess. Hmm. I mean, I mean, way to do it, but like, I don't know. I was I ever like that when I was younger. Let me think about that. <laughs> I'm trying to think, cause like I wouldn't put it past me to like do something like that at some point just to get someone a bit riled up to go hey you know I, I guess i can i guess i know how to do that or something like that right be a bit of a a troll in that regard yeah i could see myself doing that i don't know if i ever did though you're pretty cute when you're angry oh damn otp let's go what, what are you talking about that's it i quit this just ain't my thing the hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Oh, hell yeah, dude. See, Kanji knows how to vibe, dude. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. <laughs> well, forget it. I can't think. It's all going to hell. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. Ted, you're being very open around Nanako. This she side, huh? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Like, he's being very open. It's like, man, I don't know who I am. And also on this side, it's really fun. It's like, I mean, you mean side of the planet. He's like foreign. He's from Europe. I yeah. mean, that's probably how they would play it. <laughs> but the more I he does look pretty way, foreign. He does, actually. I really am. He looks... Honestly, if I were to say it, just because of the rose and his like lapel, I, I guess I think it's called the lapel, the chest, whatever. He seems mm -hmm. very French to me, kind of like a very stereotypical kind of like 
trenchman, you know? Yeah. Like, it, like it's how I imagine, like, an average Japanese person might perceive a French person. That's if you know fair. what I mean? Yeah. And, and like, I don't know, I, I just find that really, really interesting. Because, like, I saw, um, I, I always thought it was kind of fun, right? Uh, I, I used to watch when it aired on TV. And would actually love to watch with Megan at some point. The show called, um, I think it was called like Destination Travel or something like that. Um, it was this Canadian travel show, which I actually thought was really cool because it was just about um. Hold on, I just want to see. I just want to see what it was called. Um, nation. Oh, uh, okay. It wasn't destination travel. Shit. Um, hold on. I went. Ah, uh, what was it? Uh, hold on. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. It would have been. This guy was on it. Oh my god. I was gonna say, give me uh, departures. That was it. I knew it started with like a D. So there's a show in Canada called Departures, uh, and it was very cool, very chill. Because it was just about these two guys. I don't know how the show actually started. But they made it seem like it started really chill. Right? Okay. Because I don't know how they made a TV show. I, I want to say maybe they just had connections or one of the guys had connections. Because I think he did work in like some kind of bigger company. But he, he was like, you know, I, I just wanted to take like a year to go on a tri go on like a trip around the world and just kind of like find myself. Because my job was starting to like get to me and like bore me and et cetera. And he was like, and I wanted to bring one of my best friends with me, who happened to be uh, another guy. And then they just they literally made a TV show around that with them, like, traveling around the world to, like, different places. And it's really cool and very chill. But one thing I will always remember is when they went to Japan. Because yeah. it, was, it was really, really funny. Because um, they went to... Uh, I think they were, like, getting into their hotel room or something, and there was a Japanese person there, and I don't know what the conversation was. Everybody was drinking, everybody was having a good time. And I think she was like, oh, where are you guys from? And they, they were like, oh, yeah, we're, we're from Canada. And she's like, oh, Canada, ski, ski. And then she made, like, skiing motions with her hands. And I was like, that's actually really kind of nice that she associates Canada with just, like, having fun and skiing. I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. So I was like, that's very nice. I like that. So in the same vein, I could see them associating like a French person with like an open chest shirt with like a rose and maybe like blonde hair and blue eyes, you know, like a very kind of European Western kind yeah. of look. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. We kind of, I kind of went on a little tan. I just like the Partridge a lot. It's a really good show. I mean, that's fair. The net manga, <laughs> watch TV. I even went to a place called the library. Oh my god. I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? No. I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. Teddy, you're literally talking for Nanako. She doesn't know what the hell is going on. She's not a part of this. But now I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. Hmm. A special being? Like royalty or something? I don't remember anything from I'm trying to think what special being could mean. Because like I'm sure he was probably still like Either a bear or a person. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. Mm, true, true. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. I guess it doesn't necessarily mean like he's special to other people or things there. Just that he's like maybe more unique. I could maybe see that. More yeah. of a free thinker, maybe. If you yourself know nothing about it, 
Perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, fair. Right. Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this. <laughs> Are you going to explain it to her? I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey, I think Teddy must be a king. Okay, so there's possible logic to what I said earlier. I read <laughs> yeah. Hmm. A king. Hmm. Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? I mean, that would be really funny. <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape. <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? <laughs> What's with that face? Bad memories? <laughs> Probably. Teddy really was a king. Ah, uh, no. There were all these other kings, too. And we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan. Everyone left their seats to go buy drinks with Nanako. Am I really a king? Well, Teddy... Well, I mean, I literally, I did say that he might be royalty, so I guess I gotta say maybe so. That's true. <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day. Maybe I should have told him. Probably not. Teddy is smirking. Chris Smash? I no. Have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. You sense Teddy's strong trust. There's the curse Smash. Rank seven, man, he's going on up. So actually, I was kind of thinking about this, right? I guess no matter what, I'm guaranteed at least two max social links. The yeah. fool and the star. So that's pretty cool. Teddy's determination in battle has been enhanced. Injure a mortal blow during battle. Hell yeah. Teddy, is melon soda okay? Yeah, I suppose. I'd drink it. <laughs> I had fun at Juness. Good. I'm glad you did. How many people spend time with Nanako? Eh, fair few. Mm, most of them. Which means I probably should too. Yeah. Yeah. Nanako time. Nah, no, no clams for me to eat. Yeah, because I don't really need to read anymore. Because, like, I mean, I'm, I think I'm almost max on diligence. You should be close on diligence. It's really just your understanding you need to get up. Yeah, my understanding might be the most that I need to do. I'm trying to think what's the best way to do that. Because I think I have a couple books that do it. Uh, I, should I mean, you a probably have some it. books. No, you wait. can also fold the origami cranes to get some you can also go to the daycare job to get some yeah so you got options i do have options did you see that something see popped what? up on the lower right portion of the screen and blocked my b button oh no i did not that was really weird what was that that's <laughs> really strange because like it, it wasn't behind the b button it was it was blocking it Hmm. For a second, I thought something was on my screen, but then it just like slowly went away. That's actually a little creepy. I mean, a little bit. That's weird. I'm gonna need... keep an eye on it, Megan. Just just in case. You never know. Or like, listen for me to like scream or something. I don't know. <laughs> just in and case before something this attacks never me. comes out. <laughs> I mean, okay, Nanako, you and me. Isn't ready to advance yet. Okay, we'll spend the evening with you. Yeah. 
is going to become closer soon. Okay, so spend time with her again the next opportunity. Which might be tonight. Depends on what I do during the day. Oh, for Xe Kun. Morning. You know, lately whenever we're over there, I've been wondering. Does it feel like you've seen those shadows before? I mean, we fought robots and stuff that look like they're right out of some anime, right? Doesn't that bother you? Hmm, now that you mention it. Remember how our other selves had those logos like a TV show? Maybe it was like that for the same person as to why the shadows look like something from TV? Wait, maybe it was like, oh, maybe it was like that for the same person as to why the shadows... I don't know, that, there's something that seems off about that sentence to me, but it's probably maybe correct. Maybe it's like that for the same reason? I mean, maybe. Like, I don't know. The, well, you, what? You kept saying person. Oh, did I? I thought I said reason. Maybe, maybe, maybe sure I didn't say person. I'm pretty sure you said person. Maybe I did say person. <laughs> My bad. I mean, it's okay. I just thought maybe we were getting confused because you thought it was person instead of reason. You could be right. Maybe I was saying it as person. Maybe it was like that for the same reason as to why the shadows look like something from the TV. I don't know. I think there's just something with the as to why that throws me off. I'm not too sure why. It almost seems like it's too long of a sentence, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just cray cray. I mean, it, it is a long sentence, but... Teddy said that before that the... Or Teddy said before that the other world is related to our minds somehow. People who watch the Midnight Channel believe it's a TV show and we treat that world as something inside the TV. So maybe that's why. Or is it simply because all of us have had our brains soaked in television since we were kids? <laughs> hmm, I guess I can't really deny that. I can't help watching Hong Kong action movies whenever they're on TV. I mean, it is kind of cool. It would be kind of cool to be able to just, to just do that. Sigh. It's so tiring coming up with stuff for the exams. Oh, it's exam day. Uh, no. It's going to be exams at the end of the week, I think, it starts. All I want to do is go home and see how my stocks are doing. By the way, Halloween's at the end of this month. I'm sure you've forgotten what with tests and festivals and all. Speaking of Halloween, the first jack-o'-lanterns weren't made out of pumpkins. Uh, that is true. They were made out of, like, uh, eggplants, I think. Hmm, Saranaka-san, I'll pick you, since you, can't seem to care, since you don't seem to care about veggies. Nah, I'll choose Gammon. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what vegetable was used to make the first jack-o'-lanterns? Uh, turnips. It was turnips, actually. Yeah, because, um... I really think it was pumpkins. No, nah, I think it was turnips, because, like, they were just very common. I'm pretty sure. It wasn't eggplant. I don't know why I thought eggplant. Uh, the moment I saw turnips, I was like, it's definitely turnips. Yep, that's correct. The first ones are made out of turnips or beets. When that tradition was carried into the U.S., they started using pumpkins because they were plentiful and easy to carve. While we're on the subject, I'm hoping that my stocks will... Turnip? No? Fine. Puns <laughs> aren't my style anyway. Yeah, I wonder that if that's... A, what? An Animal Crossing reference? <laughs> See, that's what I'm wondering, because, like, you do get turnips for stocks in Animal Crossing. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That might be, actually. You gave the correct answer. Whoa, I'm smart. Classes have ended for today. Since you have no leads, you must wait until the criminal takes action. Alright, drop us a quick savey do. And now, what have people done today? Spent with Adachi, ate it. I, uh, I guess it is what well, people are studying, too. Yeah. I don't need to do that, though. I mean, it gives me points with people, right? But it doesn't, like, advance anything. Yeah, you won't advance anything, but it could you could get points from that. Ah, uh, see, I don't see much need. It kind of sucks, though, because, like, I would like to get the fox thing done, but I can't do that until, until it, it stops, stops raining. raining. <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of sucks a little bit, but I mean... A little bit. Ah, uh, it's Wednesday. Do I have, like, a do I have a job or anything on Wednesday? Uh, daycare might be today. Because, like, that might be worth doing. Because that'll get my understanding up, which I do need. Uh, 
Hold on, I'm just gonna go upstairs. I'm I'm just gonna do a very well. It's raining, so there probably won't be any any quests, right? Like not in town at least. Oh, here's a new quest. Yeah. Ah, uh, Sai. Ah, uh, Gammon Gammon Kun. Can I have a moment with you? There's something I'd like to ask. Yeah, listen. Lately, nothing seems to be going right, and I've been trying to think of the cause. Feng Shui. That's got to be it, right? I think that maybe I need better Feng Shui. I've been anxious and complaining and all. That's not how I usually am. So I was asking around, and some of the students said that you're good at finding random things for people. I'm looking for a crystal ball. Do you think you could find it for me? I guess I could go into the TV and get some of those um, rare items done if I need to. That's true. It might not be a bad day for that. If I place it near the front door of my house, I'm sure all my problems will be solved. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I could also try to give it time so I can get the rare materials. Like, all of them? But, I mean, okay, well, we'll see. Because, like, these people might have all of them, to be fair. Who are you? Are you the oh, principal? that's the principal. I was going to say. Oh, Gammon Kun, isn't it? I remember your name since you're a transfer student. Would you mind take, talking with me for a moment? Yeah, sure. Young people often say they dislike the countryside, but if you ask me, I'd say that they just don't have any hobbies. If they had hobbies, then they wouldn't be bored, even here in the country. I've been here ever since I was very small, but I've never been bored. That's because I have a collection. What sort of collection, you ask? Tanks. <laughs> Collecting tank-related items. I just can't get enough of them. Gun barrels, caterpillar shreds. Ho, 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 ho. After becoming principal here, I've been able to devote my time and money to expanding my collection, but training shell. That is the one thing I have been unable to acquire. If I were to get a hold of it, I would be willing to give you a reward money. A reward money can't buy. There you go. Yeah, I can get you that. Really? You can find one for me? I can't wait for you to bring it to me. Hmm. Okay, so it seems like all the quests are popping up now. Which is good. Yeah, they're starting to. So how many more is that down? Because I need to go into the TV for like a few. So I need to go into TV for you, for you. I could probably get 47 now then. Unless that's a part four to disc refurbishing. I oh, know it won't be. I can probably get 47 now then. Most likely. So 47's out there. Possibly the 50s, but we'll see. I don't know. Maybe today is a good day for the TV. Hmm. I mean, do you want me to look up and just see if you get any other quests soon? Uh, I mean, maybe if they relate to the TV, yeah, then sure. Because if, because okay. ideally, I'd like to go into a TV and get that all done in like a single day, if possible, right? But I mean, I'm not too sure how else I would spend my day. To be fair, so I'm not too sure. So this, this must be 47. That girl up there talk or walking boat. And I got something. I got Sagaki rice. Yo, now too. Hello. Good day, Frigg's san Nice timing. I was about to go see you. Why don't we go to the other world? I want to investigate it a bit. Nato seems... It seems Nato wants to go inside the TV. We call up your friends and go with them? I don't know. I mean, I want to, but like, later. Hmm. I understand. Please make sure you're prepared for anything. Do I need to do that? Uh, So it looks like you can get Quest 47 today in Okina. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, do you have 48 yet? That's the crystal ball one. I do, yes. Okay, training shell you just got. I'm about to get one here, too. Did you get one for 50 for a high-speed gear? That's probably this one. Oh, So okay. give me a sec. Let me see. Well, this is it. It's time to put up or shut up. I made a deal with my dad. If I can pass all my classes with an 80% or better, I can make art again. All I've got to do is cram like there's no tomorrow, even though I never get better than the class average. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. I'll do my best. Ah, I just remembered. Hey, would you mind helping me out with something? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I don't have enough materials for this piece of art I'm trying to make. Do you know where I can find a... Excuse me. I apologize. A high-speed gear senpai? I might know. 
Really? Does that mean you'll get it for me? I'll make sure you don't regret it. Please, I'm counting on you. All right, cool. So I guess we'll just make a quick stop at Okina then. Is that the last one? Yeah, it looks one? like you can get a few. I don't know if you would have all these, and I don't know if they'd be out because it's raining. But, like, you can get plus 51, 52, 50... Oh, no, sorry, not 53. That one's at the end of the month. Ooh. Hey, you. You seem like... You seem too fashionable to be from around here. Mmm, that scent. You smell like the city. Now, I'm just a quiet country housewife, but I was once a goddess of the stage. Ah, those days. The roar of the crowd, the smoldering gazes of the men. Listen, will you grant a wish of mine? Yeah. Very kind of you. You'll be a great man someday. I went to that clothing store, but they didn't have anything I need. It's not, a, it's not enough to relive my youth. I need something more risque. Something that shows off my curves. What I want is an invisib invincible skirt. Like the kind I used to wear back in the day. If you ever find something like that, please bring it to me so I can see it, please. So that didn't look like an item. An invisible, invincible skirt? Uh, yeah. So for that one, you need eight power rocks, which you get in the secret lab. Oh, okay. So I need something specific to make yeah, the skirt? Yeah, so basically once you, once you oh. sell eight of those, you can buy that, right? Ah, uh, okay. And that's probably when it's raining, isn't it? Because I imagine I would have gotten that by now. Well... I mean, maybe? I mean, I'll go check, because I'm sure I would have mm -hmm. had it if I did. Yeah, I don't know, because it's also saying that Quest 51 requires fine coal, which drops from the same enemy, but if you have 47 accepted, you can't get the item for 51. If I have 47 accepted? Yeah, like, if you have the quest accepted, you can't get the item for Quest 51. I guess they won't drop at the same time. But I mean, if you already, uh, if you got the power coal, like if it, I don't know if it would be a quest item or not. I guess you could check Didara's and see if it's in there. Yeah. So, a skirt? Yeah, it would be a, under one of the female party members. Okay, so I don't have it. You're in Yosuke. Check one of the girls. Oh, I'm in Yosuke. Okay, I thought that said you could go. Um, I don't, no, you have, don't have it. it. Yeah, so you might have to get the quest item. So you might have to do two trips anyway, but you could just do one, like, uh, when you go into the, for the next dungeon too, right? Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really, like, feeling bad about her or anything. Like, I don't really know what I'm going to do on rainy days anyway if I'm not hanging out with the fox. Yeah. yeah. So, like, it doesn't really matter. I don't mind doing it. Oh, I can buy more tap. Oh, could this be it, Megan? <laughs> Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. I want to see where I'm at. So for tap ninety six, ninety six. So ninety seven, ninety eight. I know it's gonna run out before I actually like get there. Yeah. So I'll just hold on to it for another week, and then we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know. I'm thinking TV day. Because some people spent it with a dachi, but you said I can't do that yet. No. Is anyone in, in the shrine? No. Let's have a quick peek over here. Quick peek over here. Okay, so I, I'm guessing heading to the TV. It's not going to be a long trip into the TV, though. Don't worry, Megan. It's not going to be like... The rest of the session, I'm just going to gather objects, right? I know. Uh, and I'm, I'm not saying that because Megan doesn't like me going to the TV. It's just, you know, to be fair, I don't want to spend hours in the TV today either. Yeah, I, I just want to make some progress in the story. That's really what it is. Yeah. Okay, so I can't think of anything that I would want to do. I mean, I can just have a quick peek in front of Dojima's place, I guess. See if there's any like quests here. I could talk to Daidara. That's true. But you you also told me that I should be good on quests, right? From what I saw, yeah. There's like there might be a couple other ones you can get, but you won't be able to get them while it's raining. 
And since you're going to have to go back in another point anyways, you could just get them later. Yeah. Okay. So, TV it is then. But, we're going to go to the TV through Naoto, because that seems kind of unique. And I figure we'll do it that way. <laughs> okay. Hello. Yeah, it's going to TV. Yes. Thank you very much. Naoto is enthusiastic. Maybe I should get myself something to drink once in a while, too. Oh, we got like an actual table now. Well, it's raining. You don't want to be out in the rain. I guess that's true. Have I ever been here during the rain? I thought I was. You might have, but I don't know. Maybe because you got more people, maybe they brought it to the bigger table. I think they just brought us to the bigger table, I think. Plus the fox. Yeah, we have the fox now, yeah. too. Well, the fox has always been here. If anything, the fox has more seniority than like a lot of other people here, weirdly enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, enter TV. Huh? Are we departing already? Yeah, we are. That's what we do now till we go into the TV post haste. Wait a second. Let me put these back. All right, let's do this. We put what back? Senpai. Another powerful shadow's hanging around. It's where Naoto kun was. I can fight that already. I guess you can. I guess we might as well do that while we're in here. Does this happen when people who made the places here leave them behind? It might have nothing to do with the murders, but it still worries me that they keep appearing like this. Well, well, well I need to go there anyway. So, what have I not gotten, like, the rain stuff for? Like, the rainy items for? Did I get them at, at Rise's yet? I uh, don't know. I'm trying yeah. to think. Yeah, we probably I don't think you went to Rise's when it was raining. So I'm trying to think, because where was the last place I got? Was Did I not do Mitsuo's either? When you might raining? not have done Mitsuo's, because I know you did Kanji's for sure. I just don't know if you did Risei's or uh, Mitsuo's while it was raining. I don't think I did Risei's or Mitsuo's. And I certainly didn't do Naoto's. Yeah. Because the last rainy thing I remember fighting would have been those samurai dudes. And I think that was... Was that Kanji's? I think it was Kanji's, yeah. Yeah, I think this all checks out. I think this checks out. You've really done a lot for me. I look forward to helping you solve this case. I'll go to the underground secret laboratory, ask now to kind of show you, okay? Yeah, so I want to go to the club first, I guess, huh? Yeah, okay. So where could I find the rain peeps? Uh, well, let me look that up. All right. And also, while you look that up, does Naoto have any, like, special interactions with anybody, like, in battle? Uh, that one would be Kanji and Naoto together. That makes a lot of sense. Isn't this sort of lighting harsh on the eyes? I'm gonna add you to the party. So it's gonna be Naoto, Kanji... And Yukiko, because she's my healer. What does Naoto use as a weapon? Nam- She- A gun? Yeah. A Nambu 2. That's pretty sick. You have a gothic shirt. That's pretty garbo. Let's give you something decent, like a peach battle suit. I don't know if I really care to do... So what's Naoto's, like, element? I never actually thought about it. Uh, well, why don't you take a look at her persona? That's a good point. I should do that. That's not how I do that. <laughs> I know, it's a little confusing. Uh, persona status? Uh... That, wow, that's, um, impressive. So is it, is it like... Dark and light? Yeah, so Naoto's persona gets some almighty skills, gets some light and dark, but it also gets at least a base, like, for elementals. Like, it's a very offensive persona. She's basically, like, an all-rounder when it comes to magic. She seems really good. 
she is pretty good. Like, she's definitely strong. It's just obviously her light and dark stuff isn't as good against bosses, but she's, like, really good for clearing out, like, regular shadows. I mean, I think I'm still good on my coverage, though, with Regske. Interestingly enough. I also like how Naruto's 55, and I'm, like, in the near the 70s. 